Hi guys, so we are back with another video and today I would like to share our dog bow haul from Cynthia Dog Bows. Yes, we received our package in the mail, however, bit of a nightmare behind it, bit of a stressed out morning I have to say, but I ordered this in September, it gets sent out on the start of October and it's now the 28th and it's finally here. So. I checked this package and I've been checking it every day really since it had been sent out just to see where it's at because it's coming from the USA and we're obviously based in the UK. So checking this package finally went into London last week and I had no update whatsoever until yesterday and I started to panic because I thought surely there should be an update by now. So I went back into it this morning and the tracking code said that it had been delivered. And I'm thinking, well, no it's not because I don't have it. So I phoned the USPS and, no, sorry, I phoned Parcel Force. Um, I got in touch with my partner Jamie and he said that Parcel Force is joined with the USPS delivery. So I phoned Parcel Force and they said that it is with Royal Mail. So I eventually got through to Royal Mail after hitting all the options and everything and they stated that they have the package but there is a charge to pay. So I asked the person on the phone if I go to the post office and pay this today would I get the package? He said no because I need to wait for the wee grey slip that comes through with the charge on it of how much it is. So I thought no, because I'm working the next two days, I'm not going to be in to deal with it and then we're going on to the weekend, I thought I need this package today because it has things in it for today and for Saturday, which is why I wanted it this week. So I thought I'll chance my luck, go to the post office, which is only really a 10 minute walk from here, which is fine. Went all the way down there, the guy said that I would be able to have the package if I paid today. Now, I spoke to my partner Jamie and said that there was a charge on it and he says, look, it's fine, it's usually just a couple of pounds. Well, did I get a shock, £21.98 I had to pay for this to bring it home. I'm very disappointed the fact that I had to pay a charge. I never had to pay a charge the last time I bought the package, I got a package from uh, this company, but I had to pay the £21.98, so I says to the guy, I can pay that today, well you need to wait for the wee grey slip, and I says, well, if I'm here to pay for it today, I'm not in the next couple of days to deal with it, it's with the grey slip, so I'm going to need to pay for it today, so he says, that's fine, so I thought, right, give me a wee minute, get my bank card out, he says, you can't pay it online, he says, I, I can't give you the package until the payment has cleared online, I'm like, oh for goodness sake. So I says, right, so is there any other way I can get this package today? He says, well, have you got cash? I says, no, but let me go to an ATM in the bank machine and I'll go and get some. So I went back outside and I thought, right, where is the nearest bank back in the centre of Paisley? So I had to then walk from the post office into Paisley to lift the money out, to go all the way back, to finally get the package and yes, it was raining the whole way. So I get soaked, I'm loaded with the cold, I just feel absolutely rotten. My morning has not been great so far but at the end of the day, long story short, I'm happy I've got the package to see what is in here. I know what's in here, I'm just looking forward to seeing how they look and how good quality that they are. I have ordered from this place before. The reason why I needed this today was because I have a birthday bow in here for Pixie and yes, she has turned two today. So she is now two years old and I have made them a birthday bow as a backup and I have made Halloween bows as a backup just in case I haven't received this order. But thankfully I have. So this is a box that came in, wee box. And I've not seen what's in here, so I'm just going to open this carefully without stabbing any bows. That's the last thing I want, is to open this and end up having a torn bow. So this place is called Cynthia Dog Bows, and she makes stunning bows. And they are on Etsy. 
I keep calling it Asty, but it's not Asty, it's actually Etsy, so I do apologise for pronouncing it wrong in other videos. Let's just see if I can get in here. I do need to keep the packaging because I do need to deal with that £21.98, so I've not seen what's in here. So it is packaged lovely. And I'm hoping that they're all in here, which it looks like they are. So let me just see, I've got a wee thank you Claire, if you can see it, there we go. My light's on because it's dull and it's raining outside and it's just one of those days. Hello Roxy, are you coming to see? Let me just turn it over a wee bit, there's Pixie with her birthday bow, all scruffy already. So this is her website here, I'll put the link in down below. Um, and you can go and have a wee look for yourself. Now I have ordered 23 bows, a mix between 5 eighth bows and 7 eighth bows so they are the full sized ones and as you can see full of bows so I'll just run through them um, quickly and I'll have a proper look at them later. Okay, so let me just pull them out one by one because they came, some of them came in a set, some of them just came individually, so I'm just going to pull them out one by one and show you them. So these are the five over eights, so we've got a nice black and white polka dot with some pearl beads, which is lovely. That'll suit Pixie. Now, I really like these carnation ones, so this is the carnation. We also have a nice pink one, which will suit Roxy. And a nice brown one as well, which will suit either or. They both would suit brown, I think, so that comes with nice wee pink beads. And they are all over five over eight. I then have another carnation one. Now this is the winter collection one. So this is a, a kind of Christmas one, but I suppose it could be used for throughout the year also, and that is lovely. I really like that. Now I love this one. This one's going to suit the both of them. Nice wee rose with some love hearts round the sides. Which is very nice and again it's five over eight and the quality of these look really good really sturdy now I have another pink one which is lovely the black outline on that is really really nice makes it stand out another winter collection one with a snowflake on it so that's one of the ones that was in with the collection. I have this one here, which I did previously have before, but I have misplaced it, so um, I had to obviously get another one because I really did like it and it suited Roxy really well. I do have this one as well, I've got two of these, but this bow is actually for Misty, so she's going to have that one and she tried it in here the other day and it looks absolutely lovely on her so i've got two of them that one's going to misty and this one's just a replacement and again this one's for the winter collection and i really like the flag kind of cutouts that she does with the, the scissors i think they're called um is it, I don't think it's oyster, I can't remember what scissors it is, but my mum has these scissors and um, she has them to make them. She has them to make that kind of style of cut, I mean, sorry. <laughs> I also have this one which is part of a collection, so it is really nice also. And again, this one is with a collection. Now, I did order 23, so they're, I think I'm about halfway through. Again, that's a 5 over 8. And again, another winter collection one. It's just a bit squint that one. There we go. Lovely blue. I love that colour. Nice pale colours look really, really nice on Roxy. And again, a grey one. 
which is really really nice and they don't all contain the rhinestone middle parts they contain beads and pearls and you know that kind of thing so they are really really nice and this nice pink one would look lovely on Roxy she suits the pinks and I do have the black and white one of this but because I had the black and white one I had to get the pink one so that we have one of each one for Pixie and one for Roxy so the mini mice ones are lovely really really nice and that is all the five over eights and now we have a couple of the seven over eights which is the full size bows so we've got a lovely black and red one we have our autumn bows so this is one here which is lovely with a nice bronze glittery leaf in the middle and we have this one here also so we have one each one for one and one for the other so the autumn now we can wear our autumn bows so they are really nice we also have the birthday bow so pixie suits purple so this is her bow here so this is her birthday bow and I'm going to put this in her hair later on. She has the homemade one that I made in her hair just now but she's going to wear that one. So she suits the purple, so she got the purple one and then I had to get the other one for Roxy. She suits more brownie orangey colours. So this is hers here. So they'll wear these in on their birthdays. And last but not least I have the other Halloween bow which is lovely. This is a, a different style to the one that we previously have and this is it here. So it is lovely and the work on the back of these are really really good. So they now have a Halloween bow each to wear for the Halloween and that is us. So that is our bows. I'm very excited to try all of these on and take pictures and put them up and see what they're like. The ones that we do have just now have lasted really, really well. I've got, I think I've got one where the bangs are slightly coming off the back, but we can still wear it and it's just a case of sewing the bands back on, which is fine. There's Pixie coming for a wee sniff. Is that your bows? <laughs> I did get some of these bows for her for her birthday just because I was going to buy toys and treats but at the end of the day we've got a lot of that stuff and we get it through our box so there's no really any need for me to go and buy more when we're going to be getting more anyway so I thought I would just buy a couple of nice bows for her and she could wear them which is which is good either way she can wear them Roxy can wear some you know whatever so that is our um, Cynthia dog bow haul I will leave the link to her to, um, website down below and that is us so thank you guys for watching please like comment down below if you want to see anything or ask any questions and please subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys later bye